Imagine if you were able to gain muscle and get longer lasting erections and feel more confident and actually feel like Superman just from the food that you're putting into your body. Well, here's the thing. You don't have to imagine it because it's true, sir. The foods that you consume on a daily basis reflect the person that you are both externally and internally. But before you know the foods that increase your testosterone, you first need to know the foods that destroy it. So let's not waste any more time. Now, a few years ago, this was me. Well, probably not a few years ago. I mean, this might have been maybe like 10 years ago now. I mean, yeah, we've changed quite a bit since then, I think. But as you can clearly see, I had no idea about nutrition. Here I am eating an ice cream. Here I am with some biscuits in between my lips, thinking I look really cool taking a picture of myself on an automobile, which I believe is a bus. I don't know. looks like a bus. Anyway, at this moment in time, I thought I could gain muscle, right? I thought I could gain muscle as long as I went to the gym and did the right exercises. I also thought that I could eat whatever I wanted as long as I didn't go over my daily calorie count. You know, I would binge eat foods, I would binge eat snacks, I would eat fast food, I would eat cereal, I'd eat so much bullshit stuff which I didn't really think was damaging me and I didn't really think was affecting my progress in the gym. But it was, it really was. And I also thought that eating low fat and fat free labeled foods were always healthier choices. I mean, these pictures here probably aren't that suitable for this story because I reckon I was about three years years older than these pictures where I actually tried to, you know, tried to take care of my nutrition. But these pictures will have to do for now. You can use your imagination to imagine how this specimen of a young man looked three years on from this. But basically, what I didn't realise was the harm and destruction I was causing my testosterone levels. And particularly as, you know, a young man who's growing into adulthood, eating these things aren't great, you know, these aren't what you want to be putting into your body when you're trying to go through puberty and, you know, when your hormones are already up and down, you know, you want to be eating stuff that is giving you the most stable hormones and the highest amount of testosterone as possible, you know, because you want to grow into a strong man, okay? And this led to me having issues, particularly when I was about maybe 20, 21, 22, where I started having issues with getting an erection. And, you know, I put this down to nerves at the time. But actually, when I look back and I try and put everything together, I can really see that actually it wasn't because of the nerves. It was because of my testosterone levels. I wasn't eating the right foods. And, you know, my my partner at the time probably wasn't too impressed. I mean, she wouldn't have said anything to me. But, you know, these things, obviously, if you're in a relationship with somebody and this keeps happening, it's not exactly healthy. And the fact that I then got it in my head that I was nervous, this just kept happening. And it was, you know, it was a bit of a cycle. So essentially, you really want to be staying on top of this. You really want to be staying on top of your testosterone levels and making sure they are, you know, optimal. You know, I also used to be very shy. I was very shy in social settings. You know, I thought it was because I was slightly introverted. And I also used to feel tired literally 24 seven. Like, honestly, from the minute I woke up, I could have gone back to sleep for another five hours and it didn't matter how much time I'd slept the night before or anything like that. I just, I was, I had no energy, you know, and I couldn't focus properly. I thought there was something wrong with me, you know? I actually thought that I, I might have had some kind of disease or something. I don't, I, don't, I don't know, but obviously I know now. I know now when I look back, it's because of my testosterone levels. All of these things are all a consequence of having subpar testosterone levels, you know? This is the reason why I couldn't keep an erection. These, this is the reason why I was so shy and I didn't feel confident, you know? I wasn't confident in myself, you know? And this is why I wasn't, I was so tired. This is why I couldn't focus. And the the crazy thing is, as soon as I started changing my eating habits, as soon as I started eating things that were healthy and nutritional and, you know, high in nutritional value as a whole, those issues slowly started fading away. And not only that, right? Not only did those things start fading away and those issues start fading away, but I also started reaping rewards. I started feeling more confident in general. I started feeling stronger. I was more energetic. My sex drive was higher. My issues with getting an erection started to fade. You know, I didn't, I, I, was, I was confused. I thought I was, I, I was diseased, but I wasn't, you know, because this one simple thing, changing my diet, literally changed everything for me, right? So, what is it exactly that I changed about my diet? And what is it that you can do 
to get the same benefits. So let's find out, okay? This is what you need to be avoiding in your diet. First of all, fruit juice and soft drinks. Now this is contrary to many beliefs. You know, people think that fruit juice is healthy for you. People think that smoothies are healthy for you, particularly the ones you buy in a shop, but actually they're terrible. They are so bad, right? Because they are so high in sugar content and these things literally tank your testosterone levels. And the same thing goes for protein bars. Just sugars in general, right? Sugars in general are really not what you wanna be eating because these are bad and they essentially sugars raise your insulin levels right they make your body resistant to insulin over time and what happens here is it leads to issues with your metabolic system have you ever heard people saying oh I have a high metabolism or I have a low metabolism well the reason for that is is because they have affected their metabolic system <laughs> can't even speak today I don't even know how to say that word properly metabolic metabolic what am I saying they've effectively <laughs> They effectively ruined their metabolic system because of the fact that they're consuming so many sugars and destroying that system, destroying that metabolic system is what absolutely destroys and fucks your testosterone. Another thing you want to be avoiding, seed oils. You've probably heard this before, but you just want to be staying away from it. That sunflower oil, canola oil, vegetable oil, these things that you can buy in supermarkets, just, just the generic oils that you know you might see around your home i mean my parents used to buy it on the on the regular because i don't think they actually understood you know the the health issues that it can provide and it's absolutely not their fault it's nobody's fault when we're not actually given the knowledge and we're not actually educated about these sorts of things how else are you supposed to know but essentially the high omega-6 fatty acid content in seed oils can contribute to inflammation and this disrupts your hormonal balance right and that's why you know as as growing men we tend to get angry and we tend to have mood swings and things like that it's because our hormonal balance includes our testosterone and if we're consuming seed oils which affect our testosterone this is going to result in us lashing out it's going to result in us getting angry and feeling moody and not being able to control our emotions okay so here are other things that you want to be avoiding fake meat so that means anything that's like vegetarian which some morons are going to say that it's really healthy for you but it just isn't i mean just literally think about it it's fake meat and it is fake meat it's not vegetarian meat or, or vegan meat it's fake meat it's just this like chemically produced bullshit it's not even food you're, you're basically eating cardboard <laughs> like you <laughs> you're eating cardboard right if you eat that stuff it's just terrible absolutely terrible and your gut hates it it does not sit with your gut and this is you know going to affect your testosterone similar to processed grains you know you want to be staying away from things like white pasta and white rice and white bread because essentially they've refined the grains in the factories before they put it on the shop floor and honestly it's just pathetic like the fact that they do that it's ridiculous you know and the same goes for dairy free product products you know as i said earlier on when i when i said when i was younger i used to consume you know fat free yogurt and and things like that but actually that's just ridiculous because when they remove the fat they actually remove a lot of the other nutrients as well from the product and it just doesn't make sense you know if you want to have yogurt just have the full fat yogurt i mean because that's when you're going to get all the nutrients that are great for you and that's actually going to be healthy for you and it's going to you know do wonders for your testosterone levels but when you're having dairy free products they're just like what even are they i mean it's actually ridiculous that these are even you know a thing unless you have some kind of dairy like dairy allergy then you know there's no reason why you shouldn't be drinking milk and products from dairy farms okay and here's another one soy i mean this is you know you've heard this before because soy contains excuse me while i try to say this word it contains phytoestrogens i think i think i've got that yeah which basically mimic the effects of estrogen in the body and if you don't know which i'm sure you might do you may or may not know estrogen is the female hormone for reproduction productive reasons okay now and, I'll, and that just kind of goes for itself you, you if you're a man you you definitely don't want high levels of the female reproductive hormone in your body do you so that just kind of goes without saying and here's another one that goes without saying like you just know this already but i'm going to tell you alcohol absolute killer for testosterone you know you wake up the next morning your mood's low you've got a hangover but we laugh about it oh it's really funny isn't it because we've we're hung over and we feel like shit let's do it again next weekend <laughs> nah you don't want to be doing this like all of these things in bold here stay away from you know particularly if you want to make sure that your testosterone levels are at an optimal height okay so now that we know what we shouldn't eat what exactly should we eat 
And the answer to that is real food. And I've spoken about this on my channel before, but essentially real food is anything that grows from the ground, anything that comes from animals, anything that has actually been produced from the earth, right? So our planet, by the way, when I say Earth, I mean our planet. You want to eat anything that's been produced by our planet. Nothing that's been chemically or laboratory or, you know, factory produced. You want to be staying as far away from that shit as possible and you want to be eating real food. So we're talking veg, we're talking meats, we're talking fruits, nuts, seeds, just anything that's come from our planet, you know? Anything that comes from animals, that's why dairy is fantastic, you know, milk, yogurts, eggs, all the different types of meats, you know? Good stuff! It's all great, alright? Real food, that's what we want to be eating, and if you want to know more about this, I'm going to give you a diet plan for free, you can get it from my description below, and this is essentially going to teach you everything that you need to know about eating good food, real food, that's going to optimise your testosterone levels, and leave you feeling like a machine, alright? So, that's what we're going to do. Believe you can, and you're more than halfway there.